Oh, good day, gang. <clears throat> so we're in, back playing around with this um, Nissan. If you can see in the, I'm sure you can, in the ring grooves there on the oil ring, that's this bottom one there. That's all nice and clean. There's some carbon in the second ring and some carbon in the top ring. And uh, so I've slipped an oil oil an old oil ring in there. And I measured the bore. It's just under three and three quarter inches. And um, general rule of thumb for ring gap is uh, three and a half thousandths per inch. So in saying that, this being three and three quarters will be generous. We'll say, let's just say it's a four inch bore and it's four thousandths per inch. That would be 16 thousandths would be the gap down there, if that was the case. That's 72 thousandths of an inch, so we know she's worn and it's really, really sharp too. You could shape with that. But, uh, so that looks like, it's 160,000 k's. It's 100,000 kilometers, 100,000 miles, and she's, uh, she's pooched. Anyway, we're gonna clean her all up and make it do what it's supposed to do. And uh, I'm gonna get the phone. So we've got a new set of rings. Diameter 95.5. What about we measure that up? Oh, no. What are we in there? Um, that's inches. 54.75, that's not right, is it? 94.36, there we go, so it's close enough to 95. Right oh, no. So, uh, I'll get a ring out. We'll put her in the bore and we'll just see what sort of gap we got. Okay, so we'll pop a new ring in there. So we've got it been a bit better prepared. We'll square it all up with the piston. And immediately you can see the gap is a lot less. So we'll get out my feel the gauges. And what do we say we want it here? We'll say 15, we'll try 15 in there. See if I can see what's going on here. 15 goes alright. Let's go for another size. Oh come on. One hand to peel the strips man, you know what the hard how hard that is. Uh, come on. Here we go. I'm sorry people sixteen. Sorry for the shaky cam. I'll try seventeen. Starting to get to the top end of it now. 17 no go. So we're about 16,000 there, I think that will be alright with that. 
but you can you can certainly see the difference between the gap. The other one, as I said, was 72,000. So the bore itself is is nice in the ridge. There's no ridge there at all. So yep, that's what we're going to do. We'll poke rings in her, give her a hone, some big end bearings, and no guarantees. So I've run the hone down there. <coughs> it's got a couple of couple of lows in there. We're not going to be able to do too much with that though. I could probably scoot the, the hone in there a little bit more, but uh, which I probably will do. But I think it'll come up all right. Yeah, before and after. Yeah. Very shiny in there, isn't it? Anyway, we'll get that sorted. So, new set of rings, set of bearings, head serviced. And a uh, bit of a clean up. And uh, that'll be that. Put it back together again, whack it back in the hole. Take the man's money. We'll see you later. Don't come back, Jack. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys <clears throat> that'll be saying, but Zig, you can't do that. It needs to be bored. It needs this. It needs. Yes, it does. Have you ever heard this, the, the, the uh, saying, you can lead a horse to water? But you can't kick it in the nuts and drown it. Same goes for the Lebanese. <clears throat> the, um, I've told him what it needs. He doesn't want to do it. He just wants to stop smoke for good enough. And uh, I told him there's no warranty, no guarantees, no nothing. And he's happy to do that. So I'll take his money. Someone's going to take it. it. May as well be me. And, uh, yeah, he just wants to give it away, so be it. Now here's something you might find a little interesting. As you can see on this side, this is the offending bank that had all the smoke happening. We've got some low spots here. And that's not going to be an issue. I could probably go down a bit more with the hone. I've given them all about the same, so... But on the adjoining side, there's not, there's nothing perfect, beautiful. So whether that's a trait of this engine or not, I don't know. But uh, now you couldn't, you couldn't ask for much more than that, really. Anyway, we'll get on to piston cleaning and uh, might get the, uh, might get the rings, in, the pistons in today. So we got one in now. What I like to do I, when I've got the, the, the thing in the uh, the piston and rod right in the hole, I like to um, torque up the big end and just make sure you can give her a turn. We're we happy with that. We'll go on to the uh, go on to the rest of them. <coughs> 